Intermediate Algebra Section 1.3. Solving equations is an essential part of problem solving in algebra. In this section, we're going to review and practice some solving basic equations. And equation solving principles in algebra are used to produce equivalent equations. Which Equivalent equations are two equations if they have the same solution. And let's look at some problems that ask for that. Determine whether each pair is equivalent. To do that, we are going to have to solve for the variable. So, to begin with, to get y by itself, we'll undo or eliminate the 5 by subtracting 5 from each side, leaving a negative y is equal to 8 minus 5, which is a 3. Dividing both sides by negative 1, we always want to solve for a positive variable. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Negatives cancel out, leaving a y. And a positive divided by a negative is a negative. 3 divided by 1 leaves a negative 3. On this other equation, to solve for y, since it's multiplied, we'll undo multiplication with division. That leaves us with 3 divided by 3 is 1y, and 0 divided by 3, any time we have 0 divided by a number other than 0, we get 0. Since these two equations do not have the same solution, they are not equivalent. And again, the reason is they don't have the same solution. In this next pair, we are asked to determine whether they're equivalent. Again, we'll solve the equation to determine the value of the variable that makes it true. So to get the variable by itself here, undoing subtraction with addition, what we do to one side, we do to the other, based on the addition principle of equality, leaving a 3x, since the negative 12 plus 12 are canceling out, and simplifying on the right, we end up with a 12. The last thing being done to the variable is multiplication. We can undo multiplication with division. To maintain equality, divide both sides by 3, and 12 divided by 3 leaves a 4. We could plug this 4 in and see if it works. 4 times 4, replacing x with a 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. That would be one way to verify that they both have the same solution. Or continue on with just simply solving this equation and determine the value of the variable that makes it true. Begin with subtracting 2 from each side leaves the 4x equal to 16. Undoing multiplication to get the variable by itself with a coefficient, coefficient of 1 leaves x is equal to 4. No surprise, since we already had a sneak uh, peek at a solution there, that they do in fact have the same solution, so they are equivalent. 